during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the freeze-thaw effect. Now, Darren and I live in South Dakota, and I was just talking to somebody the other day about people that want to move to South Dakota, and I said, oh, everybody wants to move to South Dakota in the spring, the summer, or the fall. But when it gets to winter, it gets brutal in South Dakota. Now, as South Dakotans and farmers, we love it because that freeze kills any diseases, insects, even a whole bunch of weeds. That part is all awesome. Just about everything else though, Darren, is terrible, except for this freeze thaw effect. Well, it does make it interesting in the spring though, when things thaw back out, and it is a definite change out in soils. And this is where a lot of farmers talk about the freeze thaw effect is, what's going to happen to my soil? If I had compaction out there from trying to raise last year's crop and driving equipment through the field, will the freeze thaw break that compaction up? And a few years back, there was a university next door over in Minnesota who had a study and they'd gone out and found the old tracks from the wagon trains way back in the 1800s where wagons had gone and driven and driven and driven and there had been these tracks just pounded in where the wagons had gone. Well, they figured, you know, over a hundred years of freeze and thaw, <laughs> that should break up those tracks where the wagons ran. Well, it hadn't. They could still find them and they were still hard and packed. So freeze thaw can definitely help loosen up the soil a little bit but it's certainly not going to break all compaction in a field. A lot of times what will happen is it will rise or it will fall. It's not going to move side to side so much. So you got to think about that just a little bit. So can it raise some things up? Can it bust up some vertical compaction? A little bit. But if you have horizontal compaction to think that it's going to bust all that up, no, it's not going to bust up all compaction out in a field or anything like that, but it absolutely can help when you have contraction and expansion and it goes back and forth a little while in the fall and in the spring, that usually is a good thing and it does help loosen up the soils at least a little bit. Well, and if there's moisture in the soil, that can make a difference too. If there's lots of moisture out there or if there is none in a drought type situation, that's going to really influence what actually happens out in the soil. We would love to see a, a decent amount of moisture out there, maybe 25% of that volume, not 100% of the airspace in the soil, but maybe half the airspace filled with water. That would be a good amount of water out there to be able to make some of these changes happen. I want to give you an example of a couple different years Years, the spring of 2019 versus spring of 2020. The spring of 2019, frost on our farm got as deep as four feet deep. Well, the spring of 2020, much, much warmer. Really, that whole winter was much warmer, so the frost only got down about two feet. That's a big difference in terms of how deep you're going to kill weeds insects, diseases, how much compaction can be removed, how many things are going to change based on that frost. A lot depends obviously on how cold it's going to get, but the other thing is how much snow is there to insulate the ground. The more snow you have, the less chance the frost is going to get real deep. Well, if you're in an area that freezes, the freeze thaw effect can be a big deal out in fields. One of the things that a freeze always stops is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 